It's Monday, you guys, which means it's time for another grocery haul. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, tips for all shades of mom life, and I am back for my weekly grocery haul and meal plan. So this week I use Walmart's grocery pickup just to keep me out of the stores and to keep me accountable. I was trying to stay as under budget as possible because most of my weekly groceries came from Trader Joe's. So if you guys missed that video, I'll make sure to link it up in the iCards at some point during this video and down below in the description box, but that's where most of what we need for our meal plans and lunches and things for the week it came from. I still managed to spend just a little over $100, but that also included some specialty items that I needed for date night with Daryl and some extra things that I needed for the kids for our weekly Valentine's Day lunches and things like that. So needless to say, I'm happy with what I picked up and I'm gonna take you guys down to the counter and show you what I got at Walmart and this week's meal plan. But before I do that, you guys, I'm super excited to tell you that this video is in collab with my girlfriend Tabitha over at this mama's house. So I've been watching Tabitha for probably about a year now. She had another channel called Tabitha Kelly. That's where I first found her and she was doing something similar that my girlfriend Vanessa over at Lemonade Mom. She was doing the same thing which is probably why YouTube suggested that video to me and both of them were taking their family of sixes and downsizing so that they could save money for the houses that they live in now. So so Tabitha and her five other family members moved into an RV, you guys, and they lived there for four months before they saved up enough money to do a brand new home in Michigan. The house is so cute. It's beautiful. I've been really enjoying watching her clean and set up and organize it. Like I love all that kind of stuff and I know she has so many other projects coming up. So I'm looking forward to staying with her and watching all of that. She also has a vlog channel called The Kelly Crew. I watched that as well well and that is fun because she is on baby number five you guys and she's this petite beautiful little thing I just love her spirit I love her personality I love watching her cleaning videos I love her narration just I truly enjoy her I reached out to her and said girl we need to collab because I want to share you with my friends so I will make sure to leave all of her information in the description box if you guys go over and check out her channel make sure to leave a unicorn emoji in the comments so she knows I I sent you and now with no further ado let's go down to the counter and I'll show you what I got at Walmart and this week's meal plan okay you guys so here is a quick overview of what I got at Walmart for just a little over a hundred dollars and it was only that expensive because I got some extra meats and wine otherwise I pretty much got the most of what I needed from Trader Joe's so we'll start over here in my little produce section so I did get a thing of romaine hearts I think I'm gonna run out of what I got at Costco if not this will just carry me into next week because these romaine hearts last pretty much two weeks for us got three of the oh snap pickles for Jake no hot this time just plain got one pound of broccoli which is like two small heads that should be perfect for us we still have a little bit left from last week picked up some green onions got some cherub tomatoes Maya's been killing these tomatoes you guys like it's absolutely unbelievable she goes through it in like half a week so the one I got last week I already had zero by the time I went to Trader Joe's and the ones I got at Trader Joe's on Thursday almost gone and it's nine o'clock in the morning on Saturday so my girl can tear up some tomatoes man it could be worse but she loves her some tomatoes for sure got one red onion got a two pound container of strawberries some will be for the week and some will be for chocolate covered strawberries and then I got a two package thing of chicken so one of them is going to be for us for the week and the other one is going to be for the dogs half of this tray has been lasting me about a week and a half so one of these should last about three weeks which i think is exceptional because that's usually what uh, one of those wet can dog food packs would be and that's not nearly as good as you know better quality meat and that's eight dollars and that's what these were i think 
Yeah, one was nine forty nine, and then one was eight thirty. So I'll use the one that's eight thirty on the dog. So that's pretty much what their dog food was, and I feel good about that. So got that for us and for them, and then picked up some steaks. We're gonna barbecue at the park this week, so picked up some steaks for that, and then got some hot dogs for that as well. And then I got some butterball hardwood smoked turkey sausage. I'm gonna use this with the mini raviolis that I got from Trader Joe's and then make my homemade Alfredo sauce that sounds so so good so got that got some of the mission carb balance tortilla shells we're almost out of these I think we're down to our very last one got a bottle of the Stella Rosa pink this Stella Rosa brand has become my favorite brand of wine I don't think I've ever found a wine that I like this much like every single one I've gotten is so so good but I haven't tried this one yet and for Christmas my husband bought me three different bottles of this wine all different kinds and none of them were this one and he sampled all of those with me and he really liked them and he's not a wine drinker so I got one that we haven't tried for us to take to the hotel tonight as far as frozen I just got one of those mac and cheeses the Main Street kitchen brand for Jake but I still have some left over from last week so I only got one and then a bag of mixed vegetables that's gonna be for shepherd's pie and for the dogs this week got one thing of the Chobani gimme's a thing of the whole milk mozzarella cheese we had no mozzarella in the refrigerator uh, this was only 98 cents you guys and it's a hundred fake rose petals so I'm not sure if I'm going to use this in the room tonight I thought it would be cute to like write I love you or something in rose petals like on the desk or something or the little table in there or something or on the floor like just to be cute since this is our little you know night trip out and I'm going ahead of time to set the room up so I thought you know maybe I could have done something with this but if not I can easily use this for Valentine's Day home decor at the house like filling inside of one of my trays or something and it was 98 cents so I thought I would check those out got a thing of our Tropicana orange juice one thing of milk a thing of red wine vinegar for our grilled chicken this week and then I got sweet and sour sauce you guys and this is not what I wanted I wanted duck sauce it is impossible to find duck sauce in the south maybe it's a north thing like a northern thing I don't know I thought they served duck sauce at most like Chinese takeout places I've always had it my whole life at home we used to have on Long Island we would have something called saucy Susan comment down below if you know what saucy Susan is but it's like an apricot glaze it's pretty much similar to a duck sauce and I used to love it for like pork spare ribs on the barbecue but we're doing two different kind of Asian themed meals this week and I have no duck sauce and like I like to dunk the egg rolls in that kind of stuff and so I got the sweet and sour this is not at all what I want but it's literally the closest compromise that I could find to what I was looking for so I got that and I got these sliced water chestnuts I'm so glad that I added this to my cart as well because my one substituted item was a refusal I did not take it and it was for I asked for a can of Asian stir-fry mix I got this really yummy ginger stir-fry steak from Trader Joe's and so I wanted that Asian stir-fry mix in a can just to throw inside of that steak that I got and they did not have it and they substituted me this can that was like this big it was so tall of like canned chow mein which is not even close to what I was asking for so I refuse that I very rarely refuse substitutions but that wasn't even close to what I wanted so I will need to go into the store for that unless I just use peppers and stuff from home but I need to go into the store anyway for the one item that they didn't have which was my buttermilk I'm completely out of ranch it is on my list for meal prep tomorrow and I do not have it so I need to stop and get butter buttermilk and while I'm out I might as well just grab the Asian style vegetables that I need but I'm glad I grabbed this because we love extra water chestnuts and if God forbid I don't go at least I have something to throw in my stir fry and that was a really long wind winded reason to why I bought water chestnuts you got it okay good glad you're still with me uh, two things of brown gravy mix they're only 20 cents I believe or something ridiculous um, so I got one for Mississippi chicken and then one just to throw in the cabinet and then we're gonna run out of cheese when I make my Alfredo so I picked this up to replace that and then just the brown thing of beans for Daryl to have with his hot dogs 
and stuff. And then they did not have any of the grain-free chips or the late July ones that I want. So I just went old school, ride or die. Great value bowl tortilla chips. These are the ones that are like Tostito scoops and they're a dollar and change. So got those. And then the only other like snack thing, like I didn't really get any snacks. I'm going to use the cookies that I got from Trader Joe's. That's on my list for meal prep, as well as that food stirs chocolate chip pumpkin bread that I got from Costco. That's on my list for meal prep this week. So that'll be the snacks that we use for our lunch boxes and for snacks throughout the week. But we had nothing chippy. I did get pirate's booty from Trader Joe's, but that was it. So I've already portioned those out and put them in the pantry, but we needed just a few other like chip things to go with sandwiches and stuff in the lunchbox and I feel like this is such a great deal from Walmart it's five dollars it's 18 of them and it's three barbecue three sour cream two chili cheese corn chips three nacho cheese Doritos three of the like cool ranch kind of Doritos and then four of the cheese doodle kind of things but everybody will eat all that is in there and that works for me and then just a two pack of our Scott's paper towels so that was it guys my super small but mighty grocery haul now let's get into the meal plan all right guys so before we get into the meal plan i've been inspired by tabitha yet again she wrote me and told me she was going to include some footage of her cleaning out her refrigerator and preparing to receive all the groceries that she just picked up in her grocery haul and i felt inspired to do the same that's exactly what she does to me as she gets me up and motivated to clean something and so my refrigerator was already filled with leftovers and other miscellaneous things and so i had to put away my groceries that I just picked up for my own grocery haul anyways and I also intended on doing a big day of meal prep so as I mentioned this was filmed on Saturday morning and on Sunday I planned to do a day where I set myself up for the week and in order to do that I only have one refrigerator in this rental and so I really needed to get everything organized and cleaned out and prepared for my big day of cooking now my daughter wanted to help me you're gonna see her in a minute she made sure to wipe out all of the drawers herself and she wanted to put everything back in she is a really big helper and instead of this taking a quick time I decided to use this as a teaching moment and I worked alongside of my daughter and let her help me do everything and so unfortunately it took a little bit longer than I had anticipated and this was date night for hubby and I him and I had not gone out and done a date night since we moved here to Texas in October so it was long overdue and we were looking forward to it and we were almost late for our reservations so I didn't really get a chance to finish there's my girl love her to pieces she loved helping out and now my refrigerator looks almost like it did in the beginning because it is filled with stuff from meal prep so if you look down here underneath you'll see all the containers of the snack boxes the bacon the sausage the fresh fruit everything that I did and unfortunately now my refrigerator looks almost the way it was before but thank you to Tabitha for inspiring me anyway okay you guys so I am ready to show you guys the meal plan for February the 10th through the 16th I was just sitting here putting all of my stickers on eating one of my snack boxes you guys are gonna see a huge meal prep video next week it includes me making those and it is so helpful for moments like right now where I'm hungry and I'm working and so that works out perfect for me now this week encompasses Valentine's Day and so if I had a sticker with a heart on it it made it to this page because last year I didn't decorate with stickers at all for Valentine's Day and stuff and so it was nice to just kind of use these that I've been holding for a while so today for Monday the 10th we're doing the mandarin orange chicken from Trader Joe's I'm going to use their fried rice with some broccoli that I have in the freezer as well as those veggie egg rolls that we have left over from Super Bowl that I got at Costco tomorrow we're supposed to have shepherd's pie but you guys I think I'm gonna strike this from the record and I think I'm gonna bump this to next week my reason being that 
that I didn't think things through and I ended up buying those tiny little small tri-colored potatoes at Trader Joe's and usually what I do is I'll make shepherd's pie and make a big pot of mashed potatoes and I only use you know maybe a third or less than half of the mashed potatoes that I make to put on top of the shepherd's pie and I'll use what's left over and I'll bump that to the side dish for the next day so I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone but I only have those tri-colored potatoes and so I'm not going to make mashed potatoes out of that nor would there be enough to carry over to a side dish so I think I'm going to do something different here I haven't figured it out yet for my meal prep we I made bacon and a whole bunch of salads and stuff for the week so we theoretically can just use bacon and have BLTs or chicken bacon sandwiches because I made chicken salad or I happen to love egg salad with bacon so there's so many different options that we could have I have chicken nuggets still in the freezer that the kids can have so there's definitely things we could have here in the house to kind of replace for Tuesday and then I think on Wednesday I'll still make Mississippi chicken as soon as my husband saw the chicken he was like yes I'm excited for this week so I don't want to take that off the menu see I even wrote leftover mash here so I like to usually make Mississippi chicken with mashed potatoes because I like to ladle the gravy over it but I'm just going to take those tri-colored potatoes and roast them and then we'll just have have roasted potatoes with the Mississippi chicken and corn and then on Thursday we're going to do the little mini ravioli that I got from Trader Joe's with my homemade alfredo sauce I have a recipe video for this so I'll link it up above and down below I also have a recipe video for the Mississippi chicken and I shared a shepherd's pie recipe in a man's meal prep video so I'll make sure to link all of this down below so that you guys can check them out if you want to but we're going to do this with the the turkey sausage that you guys saw me get so I thought that would be really good that turkey sausage kind of sauteed in garlic and oil and then using that mixed with the alfredo sauce and for them I'll put it over ravioli for me I usually put it over cauliflower which is why I put cauliflower on the menu for the next day so I'm gonna make a big batch of cauliflower and I'll have my alfredo and sausage over the cauliflower and then the rest of it I'll save for a side dish for the next day and the next day is a Valentine's Day so I want to do something special I actually have a lot of stuff planned that day and I am gonna vlog so you guys will see that but Marissa and I are doing Galentine's Day during the day and we're bringing the little girls to the zoo and then we're gonna do a picnic lunch and then come home and we're gonna take the kids Daryl and I to the movies that night see I wrote movie night here because the kids want to see the new Sonic the Hedgehog so I'm excited to take the kids to go see that and we don't actually have a barbecue so when I go over to Marissa's I'm going to bring my steaks my chicken and my hot dogs and I'm going to cook all of them while her and I are hanging out when we get back from the zoo this way my dinner is pretty much already cooked the cauliflower will be done the steaks I'll do at Marissa's and I'm gonna make a cold orzo pasta salad to go on the side and then the next day we'll already have our grilled chicken and our hot dogs I'm dying to get Daryl to share this recipe with you I should make him do that like maybe in my next meal prep or something so you guys can get a chance to see his grilled chicken recipe but it's so delicious so we're gonna do that with hot dogs and then baked beans and mac and cheese so like a nice barbecue feel and then on Sunday, I'm going to do that ginger stir fry that I got from Trader Joe's. That sounds so amazing. And I tried to find that can of the stir fry veggies and I could not. And so I'll try and be on the hunt for it all week. That's why I put it to the end of the week in case I can still find it in next week's grocery haul. Otherwise, I still have those water chestnuts and I have green onions and I have peppers in the refrigerator so I'll just do my own like stir fry but we'll do that over rice I know everyone's going to love that if it's as good as they say it is then I know that they should love it so that is it guys for this grocery haul and meal plan I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up please don't forget to go and check out Tabitha at this mama's house and let her know that I sent you as well as the Kelly crew if you're coming over from Tabitha's channel welcome um, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button I'd love to have you guys part of the YouTube family I do share a grocery haul and meal plan every Monday here on the channel I love you guys all so so much and I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys